Hey, can you guys hear me now? How about now? Can you guys see me now? A commercial. Oh, good. Uh, oh, jeez. Yay! All right. Whew. That was a close one. I, so I was actually on stream talking, well, I thought I was, for about five minutes. I actually started uh, at 9.55. I was talking about the Gwenpool fight in uh, the women's event. It was, I was having a great time. I was having a lovely, lovely time. Let's go ahead and quick... Sorry, guys. Uh, I was messing, as I explained early in the stream, which no one saw, obviously, I was messing with some of my sound last night, trying to improve a few things, because I feel like we're going to have some guests stopping off and on throughout the stream today. And uh, I, I was a little worried I may have accidentally uh, ruined a few things. So, all right, we're going to be taking in some mystics from what I could tell. I do like, I do really like this. It feels to me as if... Um, Tigra and Clairvoyant have been really good for the Women's Day fights. And I think that just, I think that goes with the theme. I think that fits. I've really enjoyed that. So we're going to go ahead and go in with a team like that. And uh, let's have some fun. I want to knock out these bosses just so that way people can see it. If they have their own options, you guys can tell me what you're seeing, what you're thinking. And then we will move on to 7.4. I'm going to try to get out uh, the three bosses if we can today. If we have, I think we're going to go for about two hours and 20 minutes today. So... We should be able to do some damage. Get as much out for people to see as possible is is uh, what I want to do here. So let's go ahead. And uh, I always want to bring Miguel for the um, final boss there. And then let's bring um, Clairvoyant. Let's bring Tigra. I can hear the game. I can actually hear the game. This is what I was trying to fix yesterday. That is amazing. Can you guys hear the game? Uh, that would be really cool if you could. That would be really, really cool. I'd be a, I'd be a happy camper. Uh, and then when I think of females that are good in this game, Kitty Pride jumps to the top of the list for me. And uh, I think we're going to be a okay with this team. I think we're going to be a okay. You can't hear the game, but I can. Okay, well. Can you guys hear at least some music and stuff? Is everything, if it sounds good enough, then um, I forgot to get my mail. Um, thanks for playing the game. Right, here we go. Let me know how just in general it sounds too, right? Because we do have a little music there, some of the sounds of LC music tracks, who I think is back, by the way. He has been putting out some uh, music I highly recommend checking it out. It's really enjoyable. It's free uh, for us YouTubers to use. It's what's the term like copyright free, uh, which I've really been enjoying and I appreciate him doing that. Uh, let me just remind myself of what's going on here. Power reserve, special attack for champions costs 50% less. That's fine. At the end of the defender special attacks, they gain an unblockable. Uh, I guess in theory, I should put suicides on for this, but I don't think I'm going to uh, because I, I, we might end up just having to take them right back off for 7.4.1 or another fight, so. Uh, but being able to hear the game is really big for me. If I'm talking, I can't hear it, so I'll continue to just adjust that. Uh, but that doesn't really make a difference for you all. All right, Deadpool. Oh. Wow, that still does decent damage. And he's dead. So that was cool. That was cool. Uh, you stole a new king yet? What's the hold up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm done with seven. The whole 7.4 is done. It was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll get up like a guide and a review on it really like in three or four minutes. <laughs> what's up, Mike? Thanks for being here, man. Uh, so I have, I, uh, what's up work? How you doing, buddy? Um, that's really funny because, um, I have, not, I have not even seen the king. I have not even seen him. 
Uh, I mean, I've seen the PNG of him. I put it on the thumbnail, but I don't know the fight at all. I just did not have time to practice it or go through it or anything like that. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to uh, that point when I can. All right, Squirrel Girl, throw your SP2. Let's do this. Well, I didn't mean to hit me with it. Kitty's pretty good. Kitty's pretty, pretty good. What's up, newborn? How you doing, man? DJ, what is up, dude? Uh-oh, do I need to keep you and work separated? Do we got to keep you separated? Let me know. Let me know, because I like you both. I like you both a lot. Uh, are you going to do initial clear or full completion? Stabby, you know what? I Here's what I'm going to do. You guys let me know if you're like, dude, that is a terrible idea. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to try to get the women's event down as quickly as possible so we can just see who works, who doesn't, kind of get that info out for people who might be interested in it. And then I'm going to jump into 7.3 and try to get all three of those bosses down. Uh, and, and sorry, 7.4.1, get all three of those bosses down. That's like my main goal, as opposed to trying to do like the initial clear and then full exploration. And, and the idea being like, let's try to be helpful and talk through the, uh, the bosses as, as much as we can. But if, you, if everyone on here is like, dude, that is the worst idea we have ever heard. Why would you ever do that? Um, I will reconsider. But I really think it's a good idea. I think it's helpful. And then something that like I've kind of started doing anyway, like I did this for uh, Gwen Master and I really liked it, is uh, and Rich and Dan were talking about it on their podcast, their, uh, their latest podcast, is, um, man, that's a... Why are you doing that to me? Is is saving um, the big boss for the end. What I mean by that is doing it all at once. So getting to that Kang, clearing him, remembering what that fight is like, and then doing it all six times. Uh, it was, uh, we had Gwen Master, and then who was after Gwen Master? Was it the Collector? I get all that stuff confused. You guys know I do. But the 7.3 big boss. I did the initial clear and then I had to go back in and just kind of try to like remember the fight and it was just it was actually pretty frustrating. It was actually pretty frustrating for me. Incursion soon with me, TJ? Or are you talking to war? Go get in Vega. What's up, Knight? How you doing, buddy? Thanks for being here. The red hat. I love the red hat. I love the red hat. I love the purple one too. I like them all. I really do need to make some hats because I like to I actually like to wear my own gear. I know you're not supposed to. Uh, at least I think that's the idea. Like if you're trying to be cool, you don't wear your own merch, but I, I really like it. Um, the work was actually saying, TJ, that is true. Work was, I have video evidence or, or line evidence. So I don't know how much that holds up, uh, that he was actually saying he missed you. All right. So this is a big combo party. The attacker gains a permanent cruelty. When struck, the attacker loses all cruelty buffs. The combo is lost. Every 10 hits in the common meter, the attacker gains a permanent cruelty, granting foreign crit damage. When struck, the attacker loses them. Okay. Uh, I might be underthinking this fight, but I have I, I don't think this is going to be too bad. I think the trick here is that uh, Gwenpool gets some nice stuff. I think it's like she reduces our ability accuracy as her combo meter grows. And then obviously um, specials often can't kill her but if you have some secondary damage or you're applying some sort of debuff you're fine so let's see let's see what happens here and then this should apply and incinerate i think that'll do it yeah so uh there you go there you go uh, Kitty, if you have a Kitty Pride, I also think though that like, I think Clairvoyant could do that really well, right? Cause she can apply those debuffs, uh, cause you're going to want that. Um, I think Tyra should be fine. There's, I think there's some sources of secondary damage, right? With the ruptures and things like that. Uh, I really like how they've made it so that the female champions are also good at handling these. So I, I've, I've enjoyed that there. Uh, and then let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and tackle Medusa and then we'll get into 7.4. Let's see what rewards we got. One of the other reasons why I wanted to do this. I wanted to do it just to get the info out. I think it's enjoyable. Oh, we still got to take down Scarlet Witch. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Strands, what's up, man? Thanks for being here. 
Uh, works well for the Sorcerer Path in 7.4.1. All right, cool. I'll need to know that, and that'll be fun to play Miguel. What's up? What's up, King? How you doing, buddy? Uh, that's good for me. Hello, I'm almost done with 7.3.6, so it'd be great to have some info going to 7.4. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking, man, is, um, is to try to be as helpful as possible. And I kind of like, when I do that, I try to put myself in, in, in the shoes of the viewer. Um, and so like, that's just what I think would be helpful. And then also, you know, people ask me advice all the time, right? That's like one of the main uh, questions we get, rank up advice, or how do I, how do I uh, tackle a certain uh, challenge? And, uh, and so I think that will allow me to do it. It'll also, let me keep my mind straight. Like, I forget so much stuff, as you guys all know. And so I think if I do it kind of one at a time and I do it repeatedly, that will help me out a lot. Uh, the strategy you guys are seeing here, I think, you know, if, you, if you're on this stream, chances are you've caught one of my other streams when we've done this. The, uh, I'm preventing her from throwing the special two by just doing the four hit combos, ending in light, going immediately to block. If you, if you end in the five hit combo with the medium, uh, there's, there's just like a bigger window. They seem significantly more likely to take advantage of that window and throw their special. So I keep it to the four hit uh, lights. It's really helpful when you can remember to do it. Oh, there's no tier five. I thought there was tier five basic. Land Shark Fanatic. That sounds pretty cool. All right. And let's see if this team is good for the, um, for the Medusa. I think it might be. I was kind of, I was looking at it earlier before I didn't start this stream properly. So we've got this Medusa here. Oh, it's created by Cat. Of course it was. Of course it was. Power Focus 2. So she's going to get to her SP2, which I can't stand. I hate it. Uh, steady Perseverance. When the Defender activates a special two, they, a special attack, they gain stun immunity. It's a buff, though, for six seconds. Uh, this buff is paused. During, okay, so, but it is actually a buff. So maybe we can kind of handle beforehand. Polka dot power. We can't gain power. Unless we have thrown, uh, we have that debuff on her. Each dodge attack, each dodge hit during a special attack grants the attacker a passive prowess. Uh, okay. And then Stampede. Uh, why does Cat, why did Cat do this? Why did she do one of these like eight sentence ones? Whenever the defender blocks an attack, they gain an overrun charge. Each overrun charge increases attack rating by com and combat power rate by 10%. So we're maybe looking at a lot of special twos here, is what, is what Kat is telling us. The defender's heavy attack is interrupted. All charges are removed and the attacker gains unblockable. So we want to try to interrupt her heavy. This feels like, oh, enemy nullify effects. This feels like a tiger fight to me. Let me know what you guys think. What's up? Uh, I. Wow, I apologize for doing this. I want to say Olivier, but if that's not right, please let me know. Thank you so much for being here. What's up, Mike? How are you going to say? Not going to sell the merch without showing off? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> but I actually like it. Like my my uh, my family wears the shirt too. It's fun. It's like there's all, all, every once in a while there's be this weird day like on a weekend where like all four of us are out and we're all wearing uh, the shirt. It feels a little weird, but it's fun. Uh, both. I do need some. Okay, let's see here. Uh, that's good for me. I'm almost done with 7.3.6. Okay, Kang, FY Miguel. Explore all 7.4.1. Wait for the guides, then do 7.6 all at once. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I think that makes a sense. I got a guy for that. Mr. Belding, you definitely, definitely do. Oh, I do need to talk to you about the um, patches, because it's patches time. It's time for patches. All right. Let's get back on this, huh? Olivier. Oh, okay, cool, cool, man. All right, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, Captain Easy, what is up? How you doing, Bean? How are you doing? I uh, I didn't check the actual nodes on the path, uh, folks. So it was still poking up power, mix master. Oh, that's not going to be very fun. Um, I might not have a very good team for this. Now that we are here. Um, let's see, this team actually might not be good. We might need to back out and then quickly get it through. And Mr. Building, that's right. I kind of recall us talking about buttons a while ago. 
All right. Hmm. I don't really want to back out, but this might be one of those times where it could be smart. Let's see. If you guys have uh, ideas on who you think would be really good for this lane, let me know and we'll back out and I'll put together a better team. Elsa? Yeah. I don't think it's I don't think it's like a crazy hard lane. I just think you want the some specific stuff. Yeah, I think we're just gonna back out. Uh Mole Man. And just keep up. Yeah. I don't think it's overly difficult. It's just it's not a good idea to bring in the team that I did. That's all. Uh seems like a moment I've had. Apoc. Alright, let's do it. We'll keep Miguel, uh, Claire, and Tigra though. And we will bring in uh, APOC and Moldude. Dude. Where is he? My BG went quickly. We got AQ done really fast today. So uh, Falcon, Falcon could be good to shut it down. But the problem would be gaining power there as work points out. Which you could play around. I think you could play around. I also think Claire could have could have done it too. It just would have taken a, a much more patient approach. Uh, and you know, no one's got time for that. No one's got time for it. <laughs> so what's everyone thinking with the seven point uh, four gem? I'm very curious on that. I I've uh, I haven't got a video out mainly because I keep changing my mind. I thought for sure if I get cosmic, I would uh, I would go Herc. And then uh, I started having doubts on it, and I started to think about Null. You guys know how much I love Null. And I also have Null at like SIG 137, something that uh, puts his SIG at a decent level, I remember. And then this morning it occurred to me that uh, Cersei, I think Cersei would be a lot of fun. I really like her. When she first came out, I was big on I don't think she's the best champion in the game. I don't think she's going to be the new Hercules, but there's a lot of utility here that I don't think people are uh, are seeing. And I think it's being uh, underrated. I hate using that term, right? But I think it's real and we're seeing that now. I think she's a good defender. I think she has a lot of use in Battlegrounds as we've seen. I think Mike uh, used her quite a bit, if I remember correctly. Uh, my boy Psycho Billy, though, in my BG already has a rank three. So I don't know. I'm I don't, I'm not totally sure. TJ, are you doing are you doing King Group for sure, man? I'm doing a little too much talking. Right, let's kill this guy. Um, I'm getting Mystic and going Ma. Dude, Ma's so good though, TJ. Like, honestly, I, I really like Ma. I think we just haven't seen enough situations where he's so much better for a fight or a tough lane or something than like a Doom. But I really like him. And if you can get into a... It, it, it is a little bit slower of a play style. I'm not going to try to lie and say it's not. Um, I think if you can get into that, man, I think you're good to go. And, and I see... I see it. I really see it. Nola's creeping. Dude, Null is so much fun. He also was, I, I fought a few Nulls in Battleground. Like I wasn't someone who, um, I'm not making excuses. I'm, I'm just telling you guys the truth. I didn't, when I did Battleground, I did not put on Recoil Tree. I didn't, I could have probably thought through my deck significantly better. Um, but, it sounds like that Bruno song, but um, the relevant part here is I fought Null a few times, and I know how to fight Null, and I still found him every once in a while kind of a pain in the butt. 
And then he also had uh, offensive views. I think we're just not seeing a, a lot about Null because um, he hasn't been amazing for a current war. But it would not be hard, in my opinion, for them to make nodes and defenders that he would be excellent for, right? I mean, like that interesting set of resistances he has. He does have the true strike, or uh, I think, is his a true strike? It's a true something. I can't remember what it is. Uh -oh. So I accidentally sent HUD to an SP2. Let's hope this finishes him, huh? There we go, cool. Mr. Fernandez, what is going on, my friend? What is going on? Thank you for being here. What do you think, dude? Cersei, if I pull Cosmic, take her to SIG 200. I have her at SIG 20. That's only 100 away from 200 is the way I understand it. I, I kind of like her. I think I kind of like her. And I, I can't imagine my BG is going to have another rank four Cersei. So we could throw on defense. I don't think Billy is talking about... Um, let me check this call real quick. I think we're fine. I'm not worried about it. Uh, I don't think... I don't think Billy's thinking about taking his to um, to rank four. I'll talk to him though. Uh, <laughs> you're here to be with the cool kids. Well, DL isn't here yet. So I don't know. In fact, he might be streaming. He might be streaming. Is it true accuracy? Yeah, I think it, it I can't remember what Knowles is. I don't want to stop this stream just to figure it out, but it's not true strike. We're just trying to get to, uh, I started enjoying chatting too much. DL is eating. Uh, <laughs> do you have like a camera in his place? That is, <laughs> that is disconcerting. I told them when I finished up that I was uh, going to practice and then eat. He's not completely wrong. I have uh, water on for pasta. Okay. But that, okay. Can you guys hear DLL? I messed around with sound settings. And so I want to make sure they can hear you. All right, let's get this dude down. Enough with this nonsense, Black Bolt. I'm worried they can't hear you, dude. I, um... oh, okay, they can hear. Oh, they can't? Okay, cool. He's a little low though, right? Should I turn him up? <laughs> Gosh darn it, Clem. <laughs> hey, everybody. TJ's looking at taking Purgatory to rank three or to rank four. Uh, uh, DJ has no fear, my friend. He has no fear. I mean, you know me. I like Purgatory. Rank four. <laughs> wow. Turn his Olivia Sound to turn your deep voice up a little bit, a little bit. I will do it. I'm all for it. Oh, I have him up as high as he can go. Um. All right. Um. Bud. Hold on. I can probably mess with that on my end. One second. Uh, thanks for letting us know, though, guys. Uh, just hit a 200k special with Perg. Strands, it's true accuracy. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. All right, let's get this Medusa down. PPG, I'm just here to steal jokes. <laughs> I actually, I, I didn't, I didn't know any of that. Uh, I actually liked, probably, I don't know for how long, but the Mind of Mencia's show I thought was actually legitimately funny. Like his delivery of jokes is excellent. Uh, him stealing them from other people, uh, that's, that's probably not good. <laughs> I didn't know he, I didn't know that that's what happened with him, that he, uh, was stealing jokes. And so that's why we don't hear from him anymore. Okay. So are you in seven, four now this you're done with the side quest? No, no, no. I, I'm actually just finally got to the Medusa and we're going to try to take oh, her down okay, and gotcha. then, and then get to seven, four. Um, I'm trying to just remember even what, what, this, what was going on here. Um, Cat, cat put in a lot of the long worded stuff. What's funny is that I read every one of those and I was like, yeah, Tigra, Tigra, Tigra. <laughs> yeah, I, that's how the whole quest has felt to me, which I which I actually like. I mean, I think if you don't have Tigra, um, you might not be very happy about it. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't know how to play her very well, like uh, like I just showed. I also don't like uh, cats making us have to evade this SP2 a bunch. 
Yeah, watch. Even with Power Focus 2, the Stampede charges mean you can send her red until you get rid of them. Why did she just um, parry me? She, the cat must have turned on the parry mastery for her with one of them. But, uh... And because I am a good uh, viewer of YouTube... I listened to DLL's Tiger Guide. I've been I downloaded it, and when <laughs> I've been driving lately, I've been listening to it. And so I knew that uh, the punishing of the heavy and the specials includes when they are done. There's a little bit of animation, right, that you can take advantage right. of. He uses Iron Fist as an example. Uh, that's been my that's been like my podcast for the last like week. Is your video on Tigra? That's awesome. I, yeah. I love that she's getting more play. I don't know if you saw uh, Iron Patriot and I were talking earlier um, on Discord about how, like, this if this last season has proven anything, it's that there's a lot of room for, like, medium skill Tigra. Yeah, she's I mean, still extremely valuable without like, doing crazy stuff. Look at what you just saw. I mean, yeah. like, I, that is not... <laughs> That is far from, no one's putting that up in a museum, right? Of like, <laughs> that's not going in the MCOC Hall of Fame, but she just destroyed it. So yeah, yeah she's so good. All right, let's go ahead and finish up this uh, this uh, Sigil Witch and then uh, let's get to 7-4. Oh, well, what were other options? I'm sorry, that was the whole reason I even did this. Like we talked about um, Gwenpool, Kitty just destroyed it, but I felt like Claire could handle it. Tiger could probably handle it. Yeah, player um, would definitely be amazing. I'm sure you could get away with sorcerer. Okay. Or uh, you're Victoria. talking about you're talking about Medusa now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just so people like know, because like not everyone's gonna have a Tigra or whatever. Um, yeah. All right. I used to be good at it when she first came out. I need to relearn her special two of eight because I fully ate it to the face this morning on stream. Which which one was this? Uh, Scarlet Witch. Oh yeah, I'm I'm so scared of it. That's why I'm I'm still sticking to the uh, the four hit end in light and and turtle. Yeah, like it didn't kill me, but I was like, well, that would have somewhere that mattered. <laughs> All right, cool. So now we'll move into um, the LS Tiger Guide on repeat. Yeah, a, a captain is literally, it's, I've, I've had to do a lot of driving the last week too. And so that's just, that's pretty much what I've been listening to. Um, and it's been really nice. All right, let's see what Cat's title is. What I like stars, but um, booze was still sticking. Devil of the Fine Arts. Okay, I think we're gonna put that up that's at least. Amazing. Yeah, we're gonna have to put that up at least for a little bit. I still like uh, the current one. It just appeals to me. It's it fits with me. I think uh, the boo boo, <laughs> boo boo be do, uh, but Devil of Fine Arts. I really like Land Shark Fanatic too, but I think we're gonna go with Devil of Fine Arts. Let's I forget it. if it was on your stream, but I def I said um, at some point my the one thing that bothers me about these titles, all of which are amazing, yeah, is that they're common. Yeah, what's up with that? I'm with like, you. Just give me the give me the blue. Uh, the blue text they're definitely harder to get than what is what is it that gives the common titles it's like heroic or master eq difficulty yeah like come on yeah i, I think just recognize the amount of work that people put into it too right because I'm, mm -hmm. I'm obviously not just the women who made the uh, the fights but i'm sure uh, mcoc employees worked on it i don't know whatever i don't yeah. want to make too big a deal about it but i agree with you uh ch -ch -ch I don't know if I want to do a paradox one because I want, I do want to try to get all as many of the bosses down as quickly as we can. So I think we'll stick with a non uh, paradox one. Strands, is this the one you were talking about, dude? If you're still there, he might not still be there. Um, that Miguel and Av were great for. Whenever the defender activates a special attack, they gain. Yes. Okay. So uh, the sister paths Miguel has. Okay. Strands and Clown are agree. Someone needs to record that. We've got Strands and Clown of Green. Uh, that should go in the MCOC Museum. <laughs> Let's do that. 
Uh, all right. So let's go ahead and show off. Let's show Miguel. Anyone else that's uh, troublesome here? Uh, kinetic transference. I see why the guys are saying this. We've got a... Uh, Sounds like Doom's going to be pretty darn good for the uh, Cosmics as well. Okay. So we'll go Doom, Miguel, AV... Oh, uh, Strands brought Diablo. That makes sense. I, I kind of like the way they design these, where it's usually like you want one of each of two classes for a lot of these lanes, and you can kind of tag team them. Yeah. Uh, you know, guys, hold on just a second. It's uh, it's a phone call from a local number, and with uh, with having two kids in school, I always take these. I'm sure it's just a uh, a call of some other nature, but I'm gonna take it. It'll just be a minute. Yeah, I buy that. I have to uh, answer Pittsburgh calls, but I yes. ignore ones from my hometown area code because they are literally always spam. <laughs> okay, Jubilee was annoying. CMM was a little annoying. Okay. Yeah, let's see. I mean, I, I'll i probably use Reed, yeah. honestly. <laughs> I'm trying to think who else I'll use. Okay. Maybe Claire. Maybe Tigra. Tigra's not oh, great with kinetic transference, uh, so I might go Claire. We had not oh, Maud would probably be pretty right. good. I'll be checking some of that out. Uh, how much time do we have to decide? Ah, uh, don't try. You don't want to hit the block too much. Good to know, strings. Yeah, that, and that's that's. I, I um, think Jacob, is one is I don't. Speaking with my wife um, and, then all, uh, and then telling just the the question, which one is easiest for completion, is, is going so. to be highly roster dependent. So I'm not sure that we can answer that without knowing who you have or how comfortable you are with them. Apoc Soul is the mutant path. I mean, that does make sense. Apoc is a monster. I'm gonna be honest. I, I, I don't think I'm able to do it today. Like, um, just being completely forthright. I mean, she didn't, we don't even pick her up till three. Yeah. If you need to know today, then um, I completely respect that, and I, um, I, I think we'll probably trying to think. I know he intended to mute possible. himself, <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep talking. Um, Let's see. Yeah, been trying to reach you about your extended warranty. Exactly. Um, that is we'll the nightmare. If you need to move on, straight mole man and king pinchies on the skill path. Okay, that's good to know, Lord Gara, because I'll definitely be bringing king pin. I don't have mole man, but I'm yeah. guessing if the two yeah. of them are particularly good, then Jabari will do really well. So I'm looking forward to that one. Okay. And honestly, I thought the deadline was Thursday, so tomorrow is Thursday. Uh, yeah, and then I'm going back too far. Yeah, this is like DLL playing the cover-up role. I am doing my best. Yeah, I'm sure it is. A few seconds away from singing. The Mystic Path and the second quest is so fun. That's awesome, TJ. I really appreciate that you like Purgatory so much. Absolutely, yes. By chance, have you seen my video on Purgatory? Like, obviously, you're not required to. But I'm just curious if you like her that much. If you... I mean, I think you'll probably agree with the praise that I put on her in that video, but I'm curious if uh, you disagree with any of the criticisms. Curious for that. I said curious too many times. I'm just trying to fill space. Finally seen the back of Vegas haircut. Um, Kingpin, Hood, Nebula, Vulture, and Mole, some for pure synergy purpose. That's interesting. Yeah, we... Afternoon tea. People just offer it out of the blue. Which haven't really decided yet. What is that from around. Vega? Okay, oh, haven't decided you. which I, boss. Yeah, and now or, I sorry, really sorry. Which is really helpful. I did. That's what got me excited. Awesome. I'm really uh, happy to hear much. that. I'll share the news and we'll get back as soon as possible. <laughs> I... I don't know if it's been watched yet. I... Like, I'm curious if um, anything that I said in there you, gets we really might incorporated be into an eventual buff. <laughs> I, just, I really like think that she could be one of my absolute favorite mystics. There's so much cool stuff in her kit. Or, or just, 
know, so uh, that could be extremely Heard helpful. it was interesting. Thanks, Will. I'm really glad to hear that. Triple Mags boss. I could certainly see that with the triple robot. But you know what I think when I see triple robot? It's Venom Pool. <laughs> uh, Darkhawk would not be ideal for him. Actually, no, Darkhawk would be quite good because you pushed the special three and then you can hit his block with impunity because he's immune to shocks. Um, hey, sorry, everyone. So that actually ended up being really important. Um, I did my best to talk OP. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't even think about the fact that you guys could probably hear all of that. Um, Not much. So, so don't worry. Just so people, because I know this is why everyone tuned in. Um, I got to send one more message and then. Oh, yeah, Nebula for all of the bosses because they're all robots. Good shout, PPG. I'm sure. Yeah, I, uh, I see the King Groot shout from Easy. I'm excited for this. It looks. I didn't play much of the beta, but this looks fun to me. All right. Apologies for all that, everybody. Um, but I am glad I answered the phone. It, it's it's all good news. This is just how the last few weeks have been. Just a bunch of really great news. Um, yeah. Yeah, right? It always feels weird to be like... It always feels weird to be like, oh, I'm so stressed by all this amazing news that I'm getting, right? <laughs> um, and yet, here I find myself. True Potential says he's going to make sure to clip those parts of the stream where he saw the front and the back of your haircut so he can take it to his barber. <laughs> Thanks. That's right. Yeah, I wasn't even on screen. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't pick my nose or anything. <laughs> Actually, I hope I did. Back. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Who else was, who else did we say it was good? Let's bring man thing. Do it. And, um, I think we saw that uh, Magneto, I saw a bunch of metal down below. So let's go ahead and go with Magneto and get on it. What's up, everybody? Sorry, for, like I said, sorry for all that. Uh, you know, got to make fun of a little bit, see if anything's going on. Uh, DL playing the cover-up role. He did an amazing job, apparently. What's up, T? Apex solo is the whole mutant path. All right, very good. Um... You have to throw up wither and you can't use ruptures like okay miguel or nothing bro dude mr fernandez i just when i think i can't like you more you go ahead and call him miguel i really like that i'm really leaning into this stuff too like i'm calling uh captain britain i'm calling her betsy i just like it it makes me feel like we're friends right all right uh one day i will dex argus's sb2 completely if you ever do that i hope it is recorded and you should put it up I will, I will know for a fact, I will never get that. I will never get it. Just like I will probably never get Apocalypse's SP1. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm, a, I've come to understand I'm an extremely visual player. And so if the decks doesn't line up with the animations I'm seeing on the screen, it'll probably never happen. Like, uh, Korg, I probably spent, and I, I realize how ridiculous this is about to sound. I probably spent close to like a thousand units, if not more, one day trying to learn his SP1. And I actually kind of got it, uh, but then I didn't fight him for a while and it's just gone again. It's gone. Like, what's up, Nordic Hunter? How you doing? All right, let's go ahead and read this actual note. It seems like a Spider-Man 99, you guys know I like to call him Miguel, is great for it, but I should still at least read the note. Whenever the defender activates a special attack, they gain a burnout charge. Uh, when the defender's 10 or more of them, 10 charges are removed and the defender's passively power locked. Whenever the attacker activates the dex for any new hit, the defender gains an additional burnout charge. All right, so I guess they're, they're basically that just means their special attack damage is going to grow until it no longer does. Time to spike, oh, time to strike. I thought it was time to spike for Janik. Whenever the defender would gain power or health under the effects of a heal block or a power lock, they're instead inflicted with a non-stacking passive G gen. Okay. Kinetic transference. There's no paradox. I intentionally am not taking paradox because I'm I am despite the phone call you just saw, I am trying to get through uh all three bosses just so we can kind of get that info out for people and talk about it. Alright, so this looks like just a straight Miguel fight. Am I missing something? Um 
if Mr. Fernandez or Strands or anyone is left. But this is just feeling pretty, um, pretty Miguel y. Oh, and for anyone who's curious, because uh, I do know it's public information, like the form post is out. It was interesting because what I'm about to say, you just actually saw a mistake because of it. But uh, I am using the new refractor. If everyone's seen that uh, the post about how some CCP members have uh, the chance to um, to test the new refractor, guys, it is incredible. It is absolutely incredible. Uh, like I said, you saw a timing mistake from me there when I rushed in. But I feel like the the my tune, let's call him my champion, is doing what I'm now doing with my thumb. And it's reliable. It feels incredible. Like the second I engaged it, the refractor, I turned it on, I could feel it in a dash back. It it just it just felt good. Oh, I was gonna bring Penny for this uh for this Jubilee. I don't want to back out now. Uh, King's Foot is the visual. Yeah, PPG, I know, man. And I've had that advice so many times. But then there's the bullets and stuff. Like, it's just, it. I that when I did learn it, that's how I learned it, was his foot. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Is it like a setting? Yeah. Um, sorry, I don't think I'm not. I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to show you guys this. If I'm not, oh, well. At least I, I lost my CCP helping people. I'm okay with that. Um, but yeah, it's down here at the bottom. And then you see that the new input system beta? Uh, that's it. And so like there's some timing. If you guys saw my the last war video that came out, I talked about it because uh, I wanted people to understand what I was trying to say is I, will, I will have not been able to play the game enough. Like I said, there's a lot of really cool things been going on in my life and I've not been able to play the game a lot. And so going up against like a void, I haven't, I don't remember last time I fought a void. And so I'm used to the timing that I had for two or three years or two, probably two years of playing against void. And then now it is different. It, it for me, it feels very different. He's a champion that, that um, his dash, everything. And so I'm, I know I'm hitting up uh, block or parry when it should be happening visually, like what I'm seeing on the screen, what I'm used to, and it's not happening. So it's not like an input's being missed. It's more just like the timing's off. Or, uh, I think I'm explaining that well. And then I went to this refractor and like mistakes are mine now, uh, like you saw in that fight there against Sorcerer, or I'm having to get used to timing again, but at least my champion is doing what I'm telling it to do. And that just, it's just a, <laughs> It's just a much better feeling. Um, I mean, I think everyone can understand why that would feel a lot better. Uh, but it's true. It's the truth. I feel actually like I got it based on the foot dropping. You guys are talking about the uh, Korg there. But like this, like, watch, I'm probably going to get tagged. But it'll be because I made a mistake. And that is just, it just feels so much better. Let's stack some ruptures. I was having so much fun just bouncing around. I forgot to stack ruptures. All right, let's land another wither. Not that her SB2 is crazy difficult, but uh, she's new enough and I don't fight her enough, but I don't know her animations. And I know her SB1 is pretty simple, so that's why I'm trying to bait the SP1 as much as I am. Also gives us a chance to stack more rupture, so it's not like a bad thing. There we go. In fact, we'll just, uh, we've got enough time on the wither. Let's get the physical vulnerability up. Let's see what happens here. I didn't have enough ruptures to really take advantage of that. Uh, 
Uh, you know what? Let's see if this SP2 will kill her. I think it will. Yeah. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Uh, <clears throat> Maybe a heavy. Uh, is it like a saving factor? Okay, so yeah, you guys saw it. Hopefully everyone saw it. What's up, Black Jam? How you doing, buddy? We are starting on 7.4.1. We got the uh, the Women's Day uh, bosses down. Oh, they're fun. I like them both. Tiger is really, really helpful. So is Kitty Pride. Uh, we went over some other options, too. If anyone's got questions on them, please ask. Uh, Mr. Doom. Mr. Doom. Uh, Miguel doesn't have a way to shut down his aura, does he? I don't think he does. I actually have not gotten to fight many Dooms. Um, I don't think I've fought a single Doom this season. Mad Cat, dude, Mad Cat has been destroying war this, this season. And he's been destroying Doom with his... Uh... Oh man, I forgot to keep up my wither. He's been destroying Doom with his uh, eye bomb. So like that, I'm not going to guarantee that I will get all the SP1 evades. And I feel so much more confident in it now that I am um, with this refractor. So, yeah, see, there you go. Like I said, I'm not going to guarantee it. All right, let's get some ruptures going. I really don't want to take a hit in the block because he loses power and I want him to cross the bar of power. There we go. Let's pause him. I'd really like to push him to his SP2. Let's see if we can kill him. I want to have fun and try to kill him. Nope. Nice. Nice. I really wanted to try to do it with that SP2. Um, what's up, man? Oh, Sir Minus, what's up, buddy? Thanks for being here. Did DL just eat? Uh, I think he said he had to eat or something. He also, depending on when you got here, he had to cover me. I got a phone call um, <laughs> that I'm really glad I took. And I thought it was just going to be a quick call, like from like, uh, you know, someone trying to sell me something. Uh, but it was actually a really important phone call. So I ended up taking the whole call. <laughs> uh, and it ended up probably being a four or five minute call. And he was covering for me. I forgot to turn off my microphone and everything, so um, he maybe he's taking a little break. I think he said something about needing to eat. G Highline, what is up, dude? How you doing? Uh, TJ's writing long shot is fun. I think I missed that in the chat. I missed why he's writing that. Or maybe he's just letting us know. And trying to read TJ's message I send myself. I send myself maybe to a death. Let's see. Man thing's pretty tanky. He's all mushy. They make a point of talking about how mushy he is. B McG, I love you too, my friend. How are you, buddy? How are you? I know that you're uh, you're not able to jump straight into this as much as you'd like or as quickly as you'd like. JTQ9, what's up, man? Hey, I really enjoyed your war videos, dude. When did you uh, when did you start making videos? I thought they were really well done. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I loved the humor in it all. I loved that you were dropping knowledge on how to take fights. Um, I linked Sam's video. Yeah, I really should have taken Doom. I linked Sam's video of taking that uh, that void with Penny, so that people could see it done well. Uh, but if I had known, <laughs> what's up? if I had known that JT was taking it too and had videos up, I would have linked yours uh, as well, as well as Sam's. Not instead of, but as well. I, I heard. Yeah, I really up. liked. Uh, I've only seen one or two of JT's videos so far, but I, he's doing well. I think I saw three up. I think I saw three. Um, Star two made four. Okay, so it's made four. 
For those who do not know, JT is uh, in DLL's, he's in your BG, right? He's in BG3? Yeah, of course right. he is. Yeah, the whole video, or not the whole video, but there's multiple jokes about it. <laughs> What's so funny? Yeah, multiple times is he uh, complaining about me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sending yeah. him to things he doesn't like. It, it is pretty, uh, what do we say? Like, it takes a lot of uh, hood spot to send someone in with a, uh, with a unduped rank two Iceman. Was it, right? It was the perfect counter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and to do it two rewards in a row, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, as I as I told JT last season, when I kept sending him with Penny um, to increasingly difficult fights, I was like, that's what you get for continuing to not die. Yeah. And so, like, when the first war goes well... he He's not wrong. Like, I guarantee you, uh, Lizer doesn't send me into that fight with Penny again this season, man. And and that's the key. Like, you just gotta, you gotta let yourself die every once in a while, you know? <laughs> it's like when you were a kid and you brought home your report card. If you started off with straight A's, they were gonna expect straight A's for the rest of your life, right? That first report card, you gotta sneak at least a B in there. That way they just know, you know, let's keep it real. This is a human. It's just a tactic <laughs> I've learned along the way. Actually, Miguel isn't terrible for the Ultron boss. Yeah, we'll try it. Just heavy decks in place uh, ruptures. The slow won't work though, will it? Right? If I remember, Ultron's evade is something yeah. that you can't do anything about. Um, I mean, we brought Anti Venom along. Let's. I'm not even sure how I want to attack this fight, but let's just let's have fun. Gilly twenty nine is Eli Solo Nebula. Okay, good to know too. Hey, everybody. B. McGee says, haven't died in four Loki yet. Still getting an average of three fights of war. <laughs> Mike and Steve spoil me. Hey, sometimes that matters. I was just telling somebody else uh, yesterday, like, it came up that... I won't name names to embarrass anybody or anything, but a particular player in our BG1 got three fights a particular war, and... Like, the question was basically asked, like, they're really good, why didn't they take more? And I said, well, without explicitly looking at the plan, just from what I know of that player and the person who was doing the planning, it's probably because that player had a bunch of unique rank-ups nobody else did, and yeah. was covering fights nobody else could do, and it just happened to line up that they took three. Like, that is, that is a critical service to a battle group. I remember, um, I think it was last season, maybe it was two seasons ago, but I think it was last season. I could tell Taters actually felt bad because I, I had a couple wars like that. I think I took like four fights, but it was it was lower than what I often get. Um, and he would mention to me, he's like, look, you just happen to be the only one in the battle group who could take all three or four of these fights. Like you're the only one who had options for him so i was like yeah dude, of course like i'm actually almost honored that that we got those assignments like thank you you know yeah ppg you great for period dude i i mean i love i love you being humble my friend but um i literally finished recording the war video for our next our last war versus uh uh made in brazil i i finished it hit like end recording and then started this stream and I'd say probably the last two minutes of war footage is is talking about you and um, how you came through under a lot of pressure, dude. A lot, a lot of pressure. That was really impressive. That was really, really impressive. So I hope you enjoy that. Uh, I always like shouting out. Uh, Psycho Billy had war like that recently too. It's just fun. I think it's fun to show like how much fun we're having. I think that was uh, one of the things I really liked about like JT's videos. And obviously, I like it about yours, DLL, and Campos. Um, but just showing people, like, this is how much fun you can have in an alliance, in war, and doing these things together, you know? Yeah. Our um, our war against DSVG had a moment like that. We were waiting on one person to do the last four fights. And if he soloed, we won. If yeah. he died once, we lost the tie. Holy cow. Like, it, it does not get more intense than that. No. Um, and, Slay, like, a lot of the officers were just kind of 
freaking out <laughs> because it's not like like we don't want to go and badger the person because the last thing they need is more pressure right now <laughs> yeah and so we can't even like talk about it publicly because that's not cool like you want to leave those people to do their thing um but so I went on stream, just did some arena, and Slay was on call with me, and a few of the other officers were in the chat, and we were just kind of taking our minds off it, and I I don't know if he shared it in the general chat or if that was just the members one, but Slay clipped the, the moment on stream where he found out we won. <laughs> it was just like such pure, unbridled joy. The chat thought it was really funny, and we had to talk about, like, you know, for all the stress that war at a high tier brings, especially to officers, like those are the moments that make it worth it. When 30 people come together and it's just, it's a feeling like nothing else in the game for me. Hey, um, I realized that I have not put a uh, despair back on. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna, how I should do this. Um, that cost me three or four revives in Abyss because I took in Void against um, Joe. Got the hearts roll, realized I hadn't turned Despair back on, only took him down half, and then had to get the hearts roll again. <sighs> I think he can still do it. Wow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you guys will catch up in a second. I got it down. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, is there a smarter way for me to do this? Like, should I have been using... Uh... Is there kinetic transference on this lane? I can't even remember why I'm using Miguel to begin with. And I was like, maybe if I keep him down at like zero power and I keep parrying, but uh, obviously we were able to whittle him down. I am going to go ahead and put um, Despair back on though. Let's not do that again. He says, trust me, wasn't just the officers. I'm sure that was such a clutch moment. That's cool, man. Like, I don't know. And then I think being able to put it up on YouTube, it just makes it, I don't, I don't want to say more fun because before I did YouTube, I was having a blast too and these things and then line chats and discord and all that. Uh, but I do think there's something particularly fun about being able yeah. to share these things publicly. Yeah. It's nice being able to share it. Uh, Roger, do you use torch? Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Like if there's um, against a mystic or with energy damage. Uh, Quest is this is 7.4.1. We're doing the, uh, I believe it's Kinetic Transference, Burnout, Time to Strike. Uh, Miguel happens to be pretty good for it. And then we'll try to get through to the other bosses. I, we're, we're on pace to get to these other bosses. Uh, Epiphany, winning equals fun. Who knew? Who knew? Uh, you play to win the game, right, Mr. Fernandez? You play to win the game. Hey, Nordic Hunter. So... It says, can anyone tell me if it's true that AA does not need House of X to parry Heavy Mordo in 625? If true, why didn't everybody just use AA? So that used to be reliable, that like the quick hits on his Heavy just always bypassed the Evade. Like you could use Drax to counter Mordo too on the same theory. If I'm remembering correctly, and somebody can correct me in the comments, like they... They changed the way that worked so that sometimes AA can get through it now, but sometimes he just gets wrecked by the evade and the degen. So it's, if I'm remembering correctly, it's not reliable. And that's why the advice is House of X. Whoever you're talking to may be working on um, outdated information. Uh, Bean, Bean's been playing the game for a while when that double hit of Drax would get around the Mordo evade. <laughs> That's a long time ago. That's a long, I don't even remember exactly when, but I know it's a long time ago. That's a deep cut. Um, PPG, go to the SP3 for the slow. Yeah, that would have been a smart way to do it, uh, to get as many debuffs as possible. And then the SP2 hit her. Yeah, that would, that, <laughs> yeah, that would have made a lot of sense. Uh, thank you for throwing it out there, because if that, we'd struggled, that would have been nice to have seen. I appreciate it. Trust me, it wasn't just officers. Oh, you're talking about the celebration there? All right, so... And uh, the freaking out. <laughs> uh, uh, Strand said Miguel was actually good for Ultron, if I remember correctly. One arm. Yeah, bandage. there was later, he said the slow isn't what matters. Uh, every eight seconds, the defender cycles through a dormant fury, armor up, and power gain. 
Oh, it's like the the Act Five Ultron, or maybe that's Act. Yeah, that's Act Five. Yeah, I. If for anyone who's taken the LSAT, I think you understand. My question, but I feel like I'm answering an LSAT question here. Like it's going to end with, so how many arms does the bandit actually have? Like it, I just feel yeah. Like, There's the setup to a logic game. Yeah, like. Uh, how many arms could the bandit had if the bandit did have arms? All right, anyways, every eight seconds, the defender cycles through a dormant fury armor up and power game bus. So it's going to cycle through all three of them. Because it says and, not or. Whenever the defender is knocked down, they activate a buff of the dormant type for 30 seconds. So they could have just said one of these buffs for 30 seconds, but they didn't. When the defender gains three fury armor up or power game bus, so three of one type, Remove all one arm bandit buffs. They could have just said remove all of these buffs. For <laughs> each buff removed this way, deal direct damage. So we're actually trying to get these buffs up on them, then get rid of them to do damage. Right. And if it's the same as the Act 5 Ultron, then against most opponents, the power gain is the one that you actively want to avoid because it sends him red almost instantly. Yeah, but actually, I misread this. I, I was too proud of myself for being clever. And uh, you actually don't <laughs> want to remove them because this could do damage to you. I thought it was going to no, do damage. No, uh, deal direct damage to the defender. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm not the defender in this scenario. Thank you. I am sure. clever. I was clever. I shouldn't doubt myself. Okay. So how do we remove them? Yeah, so again? with Miguel, it's safe to trigger the power gain over and over again because it just means he never has a special. And the defender gains three fury. So... So just knock him down a bunch and eventually good things will happen, right? Knock him down with the same icon. So because you either want three Furies, three okay. armor ups, or three power gains. That's right. He won't take like triple damage from having all three of them up or two of them. Actually, up. you know what? The way that's worded, it doesn't necessarily say three of one. Maybe it's just three, period. I could be wrong. Yeah, let's find out. Uh, make a stand. The defender has indefinite protection, reducing all damage received by 90%. This goes on cooldown for 15 seconds to so knock down. So knock him down a bunch. Uh, the defender, the defender gains 60% evade and auto block. It's a weird one for Ultron to have, right? Because isn't his evade can't be messed with by ability accuracy anyway? Yeah, but it does mean that he'll get the power trigger. Oh, yeah, okay. So really, you don't want to hit him uh, while he's got his evade up. Uh, he's immune to armor break, and whenever any of the defenders buffs are nullified, so they're punishing. All right, which yeah. will trigger, which would have triggered on an armor break, but he's immune to armor break, so that's I guess just an anti mystic thing. Okay, um, you cannot, you can't change out champions who are dead, right? Uh, I believe that's correct. Yeah. Uh, Doom would not be good for this. Why is that happening? What am I doing wrong? What happened? That's weird. Uh, who else? I had a lot of phantom clicks lately. Yeah, let's assume uh, this doesn't go well with, with Miguel. Who else would potentially be good for it? Just so we can kind of... Um, oh, Nebula. Probably not Nebula on this one, because the shocks will be short. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming it's a high sig Ultron. Let's try Null. That sounds pretty good because, like, he won't. He's immune to armor break, so your damage won't scale super high, but you have the true accuracy. Yeah, maybe I don't want to do Null then. I forgot about the armor break. I'm probably bringing Odin. Let's do Odin. You know who's probably good is um, Hercules. Has anyone heard of him? He's a good. He's good at this game. Uh, <laughs> he's okay. If you're gonna do Odin, then uh, let's save that for you, and we'll bring uh, King Groot because why not? Is that Spin? Hey, three? Spin, how's it going, man? What, <laughs> dude? Spin, how are you? It is so good to see you, man. So good to see you. Um. Okay, he was knocked down. He used a lot of ruptures, so it heavy, then dex, then block hits to keep protection down. Ignore this part. A former lawyer mistaking defender for attacker. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't that kind of lawyer, true potential. Or I was a really bad one. 
<laughs> my client is clearly guilty i mean uh oh shoot uh, Man, right. that reminds me of something i don't know if anybody is aware of the streaming service dropout which is what college humor evolved into they have a fair amount of funny content but one of my absolute favorites is they have this series called game changer where they change the rules like every episode and so it's kind of an improv uh sketch it's always three contestants and they have this rotating one called like the sound guys and it's just he names a sound and they have to make it and oh, some of it is amazing <laughs> there's there's one in particular that takes place in a courtroom that that reminded me of Okay, so these power gains are not nearly as bad as the Act 5 ones. That's good to know. They're not feeling, like, terrible now. Ooh, you know who I can use for this? Ma can steal the power gains. This is interesting. This is actually kind of fun. So they're also not that long a duration. No. And it does look like you need three of the same, because you haven't removed them yet. I removed them once. Uh, there was okay. one. Uh, I'm trying to get Yeah, to so it has to be three of the same, because that was your fourth. So that should be a big one right there. Nice. And it does say attack, right? So that should scale with modified attack. So as the fight goes on, if Malice, like if you've gotten the full Malice bonus on your Furies and you can manage to knock him down while King Groot has the Furies active, that should be pretty significant too. And I, uh, like, okay, I this fight is cool. I misplayed that. I should have knocked him down then, SP2. But uh, what, it must be the node that locked me at two bars of power, right? Hmm. Um, I missed that one, if so. I'm curious if the protection goes down before the explosion. Yeah, it does. That's nice. Yeah, that is extremely helpful. Yeah. I wonder if there was a draft where that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I mean... Oh man, I don't want to ruin this because I'm trying to talk. Take care, Black Jam. See you, buddy. Oh. I was talking about uh, the Fractor and how excited I was about it. That one definitely didn't feel like me, but that's okay. I'll take, you know, after an hour and 10 minutes of streaming, if there's one missed input or something, I'll live with that. Or if that's a timing I need to get used to, I'll, I'll live with that. Yeah. I think you don't want to knock him down during the power gain, though. Like, right now, I think I'd rather just hit into him. Yeah, because I think if you have to play around both his evade and constant baiting, I think that slows down the fight enough that unless you're using Miguel or some other reversal champion, I could see it getting difficult. Yeah. Uh... But like the armor up, that's uh, you know, I'll deal with both. That's fine. Uh, is he gonna evade this? No, he didn't. Right, because the first hit landed before. Is there a stun in that special? There are like hit stuns, is I think the technical turn for them within specials. So it's like it varies slightly because they're not all the same length, and some specials have big enough gaps, and or some evades can just trigger whatever. I, I'm not an expert on this, but many stuns with many evades, um, if the first hit lands, the rest cannot be evaded. That's like um, OG Daredevil is does not evade Hyperion Special 1 as long as you land the first hit, because it's not a projectile. Like, that's the old example. Let me see if we can finish him with this SP2. Yeah, I think Spinnaker has a really good shout there, um, Akasha, that, 
like you don't get Magneto's primary benefit and he makes he makes it harder to get the node to work for you. So I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, I'm sure Mojo's great here, Bean. All those free buffs. No. True Potential says, is it a Mr. Fantastic fight? Probably. I mean, there's six paths. <laughs> I'm going to do it once with Odin. I'm probably going to do it once with Reed. We'll see. We'll see what's up. Honestly, like, I, I was just being kind of ridiculous at the end there, trying to, like, kill him because I thought it'd be fun. Uh, King Groot's amazing for that. Like, mm -hmm. uh, OG Highland, uh, see you later, man. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, King Groot, like, I'm act I, I actually may make a video on this. Uh, we'll see. Uh, King Groot is, is phenomenal because you just have to play slow, which is, I think, goes into King Groot's hands anyway. And you can really just bait the SP1 over the over. You can bait the SP2 if you want to, Ultron. I would say don't hit him down with the power gain because the power gain and, like, I think, DL, I think I heard you say that, like, the power gain and the evade of Ultron is where the fight could get a little funky if you find yourself under pressure there. Uh, so just hit him down during the Fury or the armor up and then throw your special twos and you're golden. Like, that was actually a lot of fun. Oh, that's another thing. Um, I mentioned Maw for stealing the power gains. Yeah. Maw, if you have charged him, if you've gotten his persistent charges, also reduces the um, potency of the opponent's furies. So you could safely knock him down during the fury phase, and the furies wouldn't spike his damage at all. Wait, one more time? You were saying about as you're ramping Ma up? Right. If he has four persistent charges, then no matter what the opponent's Furies are supposed to do, I think unless it's an enhanced Fury node, yeah. the Furies give an attack increase of zero. Like, he can reduce the potency all the way down to nothing. Oh, wow. So I think he'd actually be quite good for that fight. Uh, King Stewart, you are... That's it. <laughs> I like it. Keep it short and simple. <laughs> uh, all right. We're going to jump back in. We're going to do another lane. I got to get something uh, quickly to eat, but I will be right back. Um, I'll be right back. This will just take a minute. And I'll leave the screen on so you guys can hear DL. That is good timing as I just finished my lunch. <laughs> The yellow jacket is simple. Cool. Now that I'm done for a bit, probably going to pull Arena back up. Um, started off with Mole Man, played poorly, finished with Kingpin, got a little cheeky with heavies. Nice. So Lord Gara is um, recommending the Yellow Jacket. Uh, I'm not seeing. Are you, are you talking about Elaine in this in this quest? Oh, it's a boss. Oh, you're going back through seven one. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I want to try to get down uh, all three bosses here just to try to help folks out because I feel like a lot of people are going to do initial uh, yeah uh, clear, which makes sense. I totally get it. I just am like, if I can knock out all three, then if people and then we can answer questions. We're going to get that question a lot. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Like who they should use. Um, that's my thinking. Yeah, that makes sense. Gara was just trying to help out if you were moving on. Yeah, thank you. I think I'm going to avoid uh, Paradox Lanes just so we can move through this a little quicker because i got about an hour, and I think that'll give us time to get both of them down. Okay. Okay, so this is from Cavi Q. That's where the, the mutants heal when they land hits. You don't want to apply a lot of debuffs. 
Ooh, it's a stray flame. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what I was just thinking. Uh, all right. We've got a Void who I, I... Void is still someone who I just can't stand fighting. Yeah, I do not like using him. And Strife doesn't have a ton of hit velocity, so he's maybe not the best there. What mutants have a ton of hits? Bishop. <laughs> That's probably not best for unlimited power. Oh, you really don't want debuffs against the Void because the Furies are going to spike his... Um, His direct damage. Mm hmm. Hmm. You have a, a highly ranked Colossus, right? Uh, he's he's only ranked two, but he's ticked two hundred. I wonder if like Colossus with House of X would be good for that void. And you know, I don't normally recommend him. <laughs> yeah, that's not. <laughs> But hope, thankfully, Jacob isn't here. <laughs> um, I think that might work. Oh, you know what? Meta might take that with Sauron, because a lot of his uh, damage over time is passive. I love when they force us to look at other mutants. Yeah, same here. Like, I'm liking that I'm not just like, oh, okay, I'll do it with Apocalypse. Um, Ooh, Rogue. Rogue is probably great for this path. My rogues is not is not ranked. Yeah. Um, I think they're probably going to be. I'm going to look for. I'm definitely bringing House of X for pre fights for other champions, but I think I'm also going to try and look for safe places to use him to get extra pre fights. Because like that void is one of those fights where you want literally zero debuffs. Yeah, uh, like uh, a part of me wants to try to uh, be kind of cheeky, I think is the word, uh, and use mm -hmm. Kitty Pride and just have fun with that. But I think I'm just going to go here. If we use items, we use items. It's fine. Um, but I mean, even, uh, yeah, you really are incentivized to not. Uh, it's I, I like this. I like the design of this. Yeah, like I think I'll probably try to use House of X against Night Thrasher until I get a good run, so that then I have some more pre-fights. Professor X with mutu uh, Mutant Boost. This is interesting. That could be really fun. Silver Centurion. I love Silver Centurion. I was considering uh, Silver Scent Strands. I think the biggest issue he has here is that so many of these champions are uh, Incinerate immune. And so it's going to be slightly harder to build his Plasmas. Like, obviously it still works, but... Slightly uh, less often, I think. This is a tricky lane. I was curious. I decided to go and check it in to make sure they didn't put like a robot. Well, I guess Magneto's handled that. Uh, but there's even Craven, who mm -hmm. I mean, that's a new that's a new defender. I, I think that's going to be a pain point. This might be a pain painful lane. Let's have fun with it. Uh, I would like to have a painful lane, so this would be cool. Should we put on some mutant uh, power back? I mean, that's why the boost exists, right? Yeah, they're not for war. They would have a weird impact on the meta there. Sorry. <laughs> uh, should I do... I'm trying to figure out if I should do... The Hulk pools are big enough. I'm going to do the full 200. Oh, that reminds me. I need to... Uh... <sighs> I need to buy my Mystic Power backs today. All right. Let's... Um... I've not played Professor X like for real, like on a stream or in competitive content in so long. I know what you mean. You saw my Miles fight a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Ronan can cheese this path. That does make sense. Um, this will be the first piece of content I've taken since duping my five-star Ronin, so I don't have to uh, get annoyed with people when they ask me why I'm not just doing that. <laughs> I mean, I'm still not going to do it, but at least now it's an option. <laughs> I always love uh, those sorts of things. I'm still not doing it, but... <laughs> Yeah, Nordic Hunter. The the path drops on Act Seven are really solid. It's it's a cool piece of content. 
I, I like the direction they've gone with it. I know some people would rather it be harder, but I feel like as long as they keep doing interesting Karina's challenges, gauntlet type stuff, like I'm. There are things to be fixed in this game, but putting those in the corner over there right now, like I'm. I like the direction it's taking. I could not agree with you more. Like the like uh, I, I'm. This is very fun. I think it's difficult enough. Like if I'm having a little bit of difficulty with my roster, I think that's that's you know that's that, oh man, why did I lose power? That I don't know. Now I'm back up to an SP3. Uh, I need to read the we notes didn't again. We missed Burden of Might or something, did we? No, I need to. I need to. I need to read. Terminus. Go harder, please. That's <laughs> I'm not repeating that on line, but that was pretty funny. <laughs> I, okay, I, we need to read. Read. I need to reread these notes because something that I didn't think was going to happen happened there. What the heck was that? Yeah, let's keep having Karina's and Gauntlet. Like in this last Karina, I, I have not done a single one, but I've watched, a, but I've watched a lot of streams, uh, and it seems I, I'm pretty happy with it. DL, did you have you done like a full like review type video on I it? I did. It dropped this morning. Yeah. Oh, awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, is it like you're just talking about the how difficult it is and enjoyment, or are you giving advice or? And I, this uh, is not a plot. I did like I did. a full 33 minutes on, I talk about each of the nine challenges. I talk about like how to plan your prep. I try to go over alternatives that I didn't use. I tried to be pretty comprehensive. That was perfect. I, I actually wish that was intentional because that would have been the best un like intentional plug. I thought that was very seamless and it, it wasn't <laughs> like that was, that was uh, real. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, I, I just haven't had time to be on YouTube this morning. That's all. Yeah, no, I got you. I, I'm I'm very happy with how they went. Like I used a ton of items, but my total unit cost was 139, which I am ecstatic about. Dude, I'm wondering if I didn't lose power. I thought I was at three bars of power, and and I I didn't actually lose it. I just didn't see it properly. If anyone else, oh, yeah, maybe has an idea on that. Um, I agree, Just, Bean. Summer yeah. of Pain needs to come back. I'm kind of surprised they didn't do that last month. Um, it doesn't need to come out right now. <laughs> Give yeah. us some time to process everything that's just been thrown at us. That would definitely but maybe be the, like late April or something. Sorry, it's like the Michael Scott. Like, no, <laughs> like, don't, <laughs> don't do that. Uh, yeah, let YouTubers breathe, please. please. This month has been exhausting. Yeah. Uh, please. Some of our hardest, like, yeah, both of our alliances actually are at a higher than normal place in war right now. We have all this content. <laughs> this month has just been so intense. Yeah. Um, sorry, I, I gotta concentrate for this one. Yes. Ah, uh, just messed up. <laughs> Yeah, see that that right there is why he uh, he brought House of X guys because if Void had stacked up like I don't know ten or twelve Fury buffs by then, like that single debuff might have killed him. So like, definitely be careful for Void's interaction with this node. It just really messed up though. Still. I forgot I didn't have my falter, and I was, uh, I, was, I thought he would miss me. Uh, this is DLL, uh, uh, runs an amazing channel, as all the rankings team guys do. Uh, he is on call right now, and check out his channel. Uh, link is in the description. Wait, what the heck is going on? Did that happen again? Yeah, what's going on? Uh... Uh, okay. 
I could swear Void was attacking into my uh, special, too. Um, maybe not. Yeah, so, I guess maybe the first hit didn't hit him, and then the later ones did. Those? Yeah, Clown those were, is nothing if not humble bean. Oh, oh Clown is, like... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love Clown. I would never call him humble. Um, yo, Vega, I think this is the first catch your stream. Thank you so much for being here, Ryan. That's awesome. And yeah, and yeah, this is DLL. This is the DLL who you, I'm sure you've heard me mention hopefully a ton of times in videos. Um, did, what did Mr. Fernandez say? Uh, clown he is, clown. yeah. <laughs> I think it's not a coincidence. I think it's not. I think it's not. I'm just asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like that was a leading question, though, Mr. Fernandez. We might have to strike that one. Um, yeah, let's continue with Professor X. I'm having a, a blast using him. Slaymon, yes, coincidence. <laughs> What's up, Slay? How you doing, dude? Dear Shar, I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, but I didn't do a crystal opening vid from the Karina's challenges. Be in part, just I haven't done many of those lately. But also, like, yeah, my. <laughs> Actually, I think I opened each of them on stream. Um, so they're like, they're part of the streams for those challenges. They were all okay. But in my opinion, that's not the reason to do them. The reason to do them is all the, uh, the rank up rewards and like the good chunk of SIG stones. Because the fact that I was able to put another 60 SIGs into Nimrod before getting all the ones from 7-4, like that... That feels worth it. Ooh. Spinnaker used Max Sig Namor against the Void. That makes a lot of sense, because the, the bleeds will spike the Furies, and he probably deletes himself pretty quickly. That's a good shout, Spin. This is a, uh, this is a very cool interaction, man. I, I'm enjoying this lane, too. I'm not usually one to go back and, and redo content, but if I was, I feel like this is a lane I would want to do that on. Yeah, I get you. Uh, just because, like, even the parry heavy of Professor X, I mean, look at how many Furies she now has. Uh, right. But you then get the heal back from, what is it, when we throw specials, right? Yes, as long as you have uh, prowess. Well, it's a higher chance if you have prowess. She's got 16 periods right now. Dang it, I missed it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was reaching for the mute button. I didn't get there. For what? What happened? I didn't hear anything. Oh, I sneezed. I don't know. Oh, no. Maybe that's huh. just how great your voice is, that even the sneezes are, like, are pleasant. <laughs> Sacre <laughs> um, Plus the regens proc quite often on the multi-hit special one, which keeps the few debuff ticks under control. That's awesome, Spin. Spin, you sound like someone who's been playing the game, my friend. Uh, it's amazing to have you back. For those who don't know, Spinnaker, like... I feel like Spinnaker was like an integral part of the channel uh, for a very long time. And then he, he went to school, when to respect his privacy. Um, and I think, oh, why is she unblockable? Oh, unblockable finale. Oh, ah, that's a good reminder to not push Elsa to her special two on this one. Yeah. Anyways, it's amazing to have Spin back uh, and chatting. I really like Spinnaker a lot. Um, huh. Yeah. Let's revive. That's what they're there for. Mm-hmm. But she's going to be unblockable now. <laughs> Correct. Just use a power start one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and, an, and an invulnerability. Um, right. <laughs> and I don't think I have the synergy that makes Strife start invisible. That's with uh, Hood, right? Yeah. I, I think you've just convinced me to bring it. <laughs> Uh, all right, guys. Well, this is why I labeled it on Twitter and on the thumbnail. 
there are no unrealistic item use standards on this stream. It is real people using real items. Um, I think we're going to go Professor X. You know, I bet we'll see a um, a Tigra takedown of this lane as well. Because all of those, if you can keep the neutralize up, all of those heavies trying to trigger are going to cause a lot of ruptures. With expiring resources, Act 7.4 or finish Karina's first thoughts. See, Slay says 7.4, Clown says Karina's. I think there are different ideas at play there. I think um, 7-4 is going to be better for a lot of people in terms of like what you can get through and the value for it. But to advocate for Clown's position there, 7.4 is also less likely to be item intensive for somebody with JT's roster and skill set. And so if you're trying to use up expiring items, there is a case for Karina's. Yeah, I think that's exactly the logic he was using. What was this? What's the question? Uh, Karina's are 7.4 if you have items expiring. Oh. Mm, yeah. I mean, and you don't have to do all the Karina's. You can just do some of them. Right? Is that in the question? Yeah, exactly. Like I am, uh, I I haven't done any of Karina's. I just have not had the time. Um, and uh, I'm I'm definitely doing some point four first because <laughs> it'll be less item intensive. I don't have anything expiring, <clears throat> and I would like to know. Uh, I think the gem. I think the gem's the big the big draw, right? Like it'll just help me make other decisions knowing who that next R4 is going to be. Absolutely. And yeah, I definitely agree that Spin was a huge part of the channel. Um, he's responsible for my love of Mojo and transformed my Guardian gameplay. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, unblockable finale is 25%? Correct. Okay. I'm hoping an SP2 will... will uh, We'll take her from like 20 some odd to, oh man, this SV3 going to do too much damage. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> the classic strike problem. Uh-oh, I'm hitting too hard. <laughs> yeah. I think, I, I think I'm, I think I've got a problem here. All right. Uh, All may right. Maybe it's 20%? No, it's... So the health percentages in this game always round up. Yeah. So you're not actually over the line for 25% until you, it says 24. We were almost there, too. Yeah. But, okay, so in all honesty, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That was me, though. Like, that wasn't, that wasn't, that was not the game, not having my inputs right or whatever. I dashed back at the wrong time and she hit me. And, like, I'm okay with that. I'm not happy that it happened. But like, I don't walk away being like, how can I keep playing this game? It doesn't do what I tell it to do. So that, uh, uh, guys, if anyone who hasn't been here for a while, I'm using the, that new refractor that's available to CCP members. I'm using it right now. I absolutely love it. Uh, I feel like the champions are doing what my thumbs are telling them to do. Like I can see it on the screen. If I make a mistake, it's because I make a mistake, like right there. Uh, and I, I could be, I could not be more excited about the progress I'm seeing coming from it. I'm really pumped up on it, in case you can't tell. Like, I, I, <laughs> I'm excited I just died because uh, it was my mistake though. And that just feels so different than dying because there was an input problem. Uh, so yeah. It also makes playing like, it makes playing champions like Miguel, I think even more fun, and it makes playing Professor X 
uh, a, even more like confidence inducing. Mm -hmm. What you're what you're saying should happen will happen. I don't know how to describe it, but these are champions that to me feel like they're bouncing around the screen a lot more. Hmm. Like maybe just these smaller kind of like nimble champions. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. I've kind of enjoyed this. This has been a good. This has been a really good time. I might not enjoy Craven though. I might take it all back. Okay, so somebody has finished. All but I haven't seen a screenshot of the offer yet, and it's not Mike and it's not KT1. Ah, wow. Well, is it lags? <laughs> that might be it. Yeah, hold on. Um, I think Professor X is the way to go for this challenge, unless you're a really good strife player. Uh, I'm going to kind of kill off uh, Professor X here. Uh, and that way the revive, because I'm probably going to have to re revive him anyway. That was a great shout earlier about the power back boost. Oh, wait, did I go down to the wrong lane? I oh, know that's uh, Endurance. Oh, endurance is one of uh, Craven's abilities. Right. Um, JT says I've done six of the nine Kratos challenges, so just have the Abyss ones left, so I was torn. Well, that's. I'm actually curious, JT. Um, we should like talk about your teams for the various challenges. Because like if you don't have an obvious team for the Abyss runs, then I think 7.4 is your answer. But if you do, and like especially the Goblin one is I think normally the lowest barrier to entry. I know you have uh, Venom and Penny. Like then, then that might be um, a good way to use up the expiring resources. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the change, too. Um, I'm going to call you Sharp Menace for now. <laughs> Until you correct me. Um, but yeah, I've had... I feel like I've had more problems the last week again. Like, especially with re-parry specifically versus um, other parries. And so I, I cannot wait. It's going to be awesome. I'm really proud of this kill. Uh, the, yeah, that was a great one on low health. Thanks. Yeah, I was. I was really uh, very proud of it. <laughs> I, I don't know why I didn't hit record. I should have. And the power back boost with Professor X. Like, thank you. Who made that that call? So I, someone made that call earlier. Uh, I'm gonna scroll back up. <laughs> JT says, I haven't researched it at all. Well, I'm going to take this opportunity to say uh, there is a video that exists <laughs> with timestamps where you could go and look at that particular challenge. <laughs> uh, my mistake equals can adjust and learn. So, yeah, B, that's 100% it. Well, like, uh, yeah, it's just a totally different feeling. Like, uh, I. I try not to like, I'll do videos once in a while where I'm, I'm not harsh, but I'm like critical of the game or critical of the company making it. But aside from that, I'm like, let's just have fun. Like, let's have fun. Let's talk about what we can do and enjoy. Uh, but there was a couple of times and I, I was very aware of it, where I was actually almost struggling to, to do that, to bring that to a video, to bring that to a stream. Because I'm like, I'm playing this game and like I can laugh off like, oh, I made a mistake. Oh, okay, no big deal. Let's move on. And then it's just another level when it's like, I didn't do that. <laughs> like, um, yeah, it's just not a good time. Uh, let's keep pushing this. I'm sure he'll eventually die. Uh, and then we'll use the revive. <laughs> uh, Although, we're healing from this debuff. Hmm. Is there any way to get him to switch off of Spectre? I think it's... getting hit. No, I don't... I, I don't think there is. I can't remember his SP animations. Oh, but you can purify it if you push him to the special, too. That's right, because he'll... 
text. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get to the channeling charges. You know, we got that question the other day about like um, Professor X on the ranking sheet. He's in the mm -hmm. top shelf, but it's with the awakened ability. I still feel like, I mean, I realize how great he can be without it. And so maybe we don't, he doesn't need to have that designation. I kind of um, stand by it. Like, yeah. it's, it's a small thing, but the difference between I just need to dance for a second and then I'm going to bypass miss and evasion versus I need to land a heavy with some charge time and then I can bypass miss and evasion feels like it expands his niche to me. I, I really agree. I, I, I don't think we've necessarily seen it completely come into play here in these last few fights, but I know there's been multiple times where I've been very comforted that the channeling charges were even just like growing without me having to parry in heavy. Right. So Cause that's why my miles fight was hard. Yes. Like the one where yeah. I almost died that one war is because I like turned it around and yeah, that was yeah. trouble. Yeah. Yeah. That make yeah, that's a great example. And it's just weird though, because he's, I think he's so like, I'm reef. This is great for me. I, uh, for those who don't know, I actually have mine at SIG 200 because my full intention was to take him to rank four. He and Shang-Chi were going to make first to rank fours. And then I just don't use him as much. Uh, my main focus is war and I just don't get assigned him in war. Uh, he is a little flimsy and I, I do make mistakes, so I understand why I don't get assigned him. And so I, I've honestly not been considering him as seriously as some other options. And now I'm like, man, that fight was dirty, full health, crazy special. Travis could not agree more. I really, I might go back and clip some of this, uh, which is not easy for me to do on streams, but I might do it. Okay. It's so annoying to do it. <laughs> it really is. Like, well, that's a, a conversation for another time. Um, who are people saying? Because I mean, obviously we could bring in Magneto, right? Uh, for this Gilly. There was someone else though, that people were talking about for Gilly. What are the nodes on her? I haven't looked at her. buffs and passives. Uh, deal 25% more. So you could use Strife. <laughs> <laughs> what you're saying is there's a chance. You're uh, saying it could work. He could Oh, work. somebody said Black Widow. I don't have uh, her rank. She's an R1. Got her. While the Defender Shock, the attack increase rating is increased by 200%. Ooh, techs get bonuses. So you really want to be shocking them. They're really trying to incentivize you to shock. Uh, this seems yeah. like Nebula, right? Probably. So, oh, so tech attackers can also do it with any power drain, burn, or lock. Ooh, the fact that they can do it with a lock means that Penny can do it by blocking. Because she inflicts that little invisible power lock. Uh, on a blocked hit? Mm-hmm. That Gee. may not be the, like, best... Yeah. Do you have a, for this, uh, but I think I'm going to use Penny and I'm going to try and like parry heavy to knock down her shield, okay. build to a special two and get it with the vulnerability up. Okay, you have a Penny that you're going to use, right? I mean, I've got a ton of things I can do. This, no, but it, Doom is a great. It's your idea. Travis. So that sounds really simple. I don't want to steal your idea and then be like, hey, look at this great thing I did. You know, <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Man. Yeah. I, got, I got plenty of things no, no. to try. We'll go with Nebula. We'll go with Nebula. Um, and Nebula in for bye bye Professor X. You were so good to us this run though. Actually, uh, I should do it for um, Apoc. I think actually, just in case something goes horribly wrong, right? Oh yeah, maybe. I mean, things would have to go really, really bad. For me to to not do it with Nebula and then not do it with either of the Magnetos, but uh, actually I wasn't in Boy Scouts, so I'm not gonna lie. Uh, did it with did it easily with Nebula. Thank you for making it, putting the pressure on me, Mister Fernandez. All right. Um, so what's the strat here with Nebula? Uh, I can land shocks. While the defender shock the attacker, so that's great. Each time a tech attacker inflicts a power drain, burn, or lock on the defender, inflicts a shock. 
Uh, this feels like build to the SP3, right? And then get the, I can't think of what her extra stance is called. And just yeah. beat the heck out of. I mean, the special two is probably great. Actually, there is the power gain. So maybe you do want to go to the special two, just because the last thing you want is to be like right below it and have her power drain you. Oh, Gilly's uh, power drain. That's true. Knock her down and go ham. Knock her down again when the cam uh, camo comes back up. Yeah, let's give it a go. I like it. I like it. Keep it simple. Kiss strategy. I love it. Mm -hmm. See, that was me. I had to move my thumb. It was in an awkward spot. I can't believe how excited I am to uh, to make mistakes, but I, I really am. Ah, okay, work finally. Work out the screenshot on the offers. Oh my god. Um... Am I about to be like, oh, screw it. We're going all the way through. <laughs> I'm not going all the way through. I need to save up units. It's that good, though, that you you're you're wanting to save I'm up units. I'm saving units, absolutely. Is there a wow. three four gem in there? Nope. You have a choice between three T six B, three tier three alpha, or one and a half of each. All right. Um. Okay, yeah, Nebula obviously destroys it. Everyone was right. Uh, hold on just a second. Does someone have a uh, have a screen? How can we get this up on screen so everyone can see it? We're just going to um, into the offer. I yeah, can Zach. save it. Hold on and put it on like... Um, hold on, going to Inger. <laughs> yeah, we're going to try to get this up because that does sound like a delicious offer i'll still i'm still we got a we got 30 minutes i think we'll be able to do this uh get down dark hawk um and then i might do an initial uh clear if i can quickly although that might okay. not put me let, in enough to get another rent for works, guys oh whoops sorry that's oh, right Is it up on Twitter? Uh, it might be. I just posted it in Mike's chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have a... Uh, let's see, how can we do Hopefully this? Hopefully that works. Um, I put it in the chat. Which, I think that should which, allow you to look at it. Which chat? Uh, your chat. Thank you. Or sorry, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I That's see what it. you asked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, now... Man, you were really testing me today, though. Can Old Man Vega figure this out? We did it. I feel like this stream is a success already now. Like, no matter what happens from here on out, we've won. We've won, folks. DLL, thank you very much for, for doing this, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, okay, so let's look at this thing here. First of all, let's not ignore that it's 10,000 units. Um, but it's on sale. Keep that in mind. 24 hour or 24 hours only, guys. Actually, uh, I think you can only buy it for 24 hours. If it's like the others, the sale's probably for like half an hour or three hours or something. That's a, another great point. Uh, you're correct. You can tell this is someone myself who's always like immediately like, yes, I will buy this. <laughs> I don't need to think. <laughs> uh, but this is. Uh, when... Yeah, that's kind of my question, clown. I, I don't see how you ever get anything other than bundle one. Why, though? Is there something? Because we're not... who's off by three? That's my question is, are we missing something? I think we are. 
Like well, that's I think bundle one, if you scroll down, is also one and a half tier six basic. Oh, yeah. I mean... I will say this, though, guys. It's making me raise my eyebrow here because... To your point, DLL, is who's buying... Who's off by three, which... The answer, I think, is n no one. Maybe one person, right? Is off by right. three and Weird just one. Poles. Yeah. But what it's making me do, though, is wonder about what's coming up. Good point. But They why? may have future-proofed this. Yeah. For when people are off by three. Yeah. Uh, we don't have any big events coming up, right? Now, is, next, is it... We're in March. April, is April is the spring cleaning, I think? I think that's the expectation. But they would be really shooting themselves in the foot if they said, if they were like, in April, they had... Yeah. Now that everybody's happy about the yeah. first free-to-play rank four in yeah, yeah, Karina's, yeah. Yeah. let's destroy ourselves by making yeah. spring cleaning a money-only whale fest. Or by saying, like, there's only two deals... And one gives you three tier three alpha. One gives you three tier six base. I mean, that'd be like, they're smarter than that. They're uh... right. Because anyone who picked option one wouldn't want to get either of those because of overflow reasons. Yeah. If they did that. Yeah. So you go, you get Karina's done, you get this done and you've now got uh, three tier three rank threes or two. If I go through this, I will have three, the class one, my current rank four, and another one after purchasing bundle one. Okay, that's pretty awesome. I'm really happy. To I'm hear excited. That. I'm really my uh, Mr. Fernandez. My theory: this is for future players, not current and game players. Yeah, I that you and you and DL both kind of talked about future proofing it because I was just like, um, I, don't I know. think it's really easy to forget that these things stay in forever. Like I just got Cavalier on my alt account. Yeah. And as I finished 6.1, I got the pop-up of the 12,000 unit offer um, <laughs> that's like for, I don't know, a freaking five star or something. Like it's aged so poorly, but their intention may be that this doesn't. And there's no uh, there's no awakening gem or anything like that, right? Like that's just, I don't believe so. and I'm not belittling this. I think this is a great offer. Uh, I'm just, I want to clarify that there's not anything else. Um, I'm going to take this off the screen. Just so you guys can see, uh, I will almost definitely be getting it. And it's going to put me pretty close to my next one. BPG, 60% of the way to the fifth. Is That's he impressive? Is he really? Um, so I got a, I got some work to do. I mean, that's what Karina's is there for. Obviously, we're going to pick up some of these materials from just doing. What is the? Uh, let's see what. So you'll be probably around sixty percent or so of the way after Karina's and this to your fourth right because you'll pick up the class one from this i think after karina's i will be all the way there i i, wow. I might even i might not even have to do all of karina's if i'm oh actually there's a full one yeah yeah uh Plus I wanna... a little bit at the end of this chapter yep whoa let's look at the rewards that's what i'm wondering here on this is no i mean you don't you're getting the 50 generic uh, just it's for... uh, chapter four Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'll still be a little bit short. I'll have to do some Karina. But at, at once I'm done with Karina, yeah, I'll have four. Right, because the completion bonus for Karina is one of each, a full one. And then there's a fair bit more along the way. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, my plan will still be, I if I'm... I think I'm getting this all done right. Is still get through. I'll probably do now do the initial uh, completion just because that's exciting. Um, yeah. But maybe I won't because it, it won't it won't allow me to rank for someone quicker. 
right exploration well yeah exploration well so uh i might still just keep to my plan but then that'll be really cool because for this is all just me personally i'm curious what you guys think too though because it'll allow me to get that that gem know who i'm going to rank up and then i always uh, synergies i like to take them into account sometimes like i could see me taking that into account with kind of ranking up two rank fours at the same time uh as a yeah. bit of a team there or something really really uh interesting i think all right let's try to um we can keep talking about it let's try to get this other boss down we might not be able to do it um uh, are you streaming today buddy yeah i think i'm gonna do it later this evening i need to figure out exactly when but um it'll i'll put it up on twitter yeah probably a couple hours from now all right i'm looking forward to it there's some really cool paths in here i've enjoyed the two we've done i've had a lot of fun with both of them just absolutely had fun i've there's... always liked the superiority mechanic too okay so superiority will i'll, I'll, I'll apply the taunt um that fight your comp your the attacker has their current combat power rate reduced by a percent I can tell I'm starting to get a little wary because these are starting to... Whenever the attacker blocks a special attack hit... Okay, Anti-Venom and Guardian are coming out to play. And Sorcerer, maybe? This is really interesting. At the start of the fight, the current attacker is 90... Has their combat power rate reduced by 100%. And gains 90% block proficiency. This bonus block proficiency is reduced by 15% for each full bar power the attacker has. Whenever the attacker hold blocks a special attack, the game. What the hell are they trying to say there? Basically, They're saying that you won't gain any power from landing hits. You, you can still gain power like by being Hyperion or whatever. And then every time you block a special attack, for each hit in the special attack you block, you gain some power, which you need because it's power shield. All right. And then cosmic attackers receive forty percent base attack and attack minus. Okay. I think I understand. Uh, so we're gonna pick some, some hey, Naz, how's it going? Mystic and some Cosmic, and we're gonna go in and, and beat stuff up. Yeah, that's usually the good strategy, right? Just go in, and beat stuff up. Mm -hmm. The extra block proficiency really means that you don't have to use somebody like Anti Venom Sorcerer or Guardian, though. So that's cool. Because uh, you'll gain the power from from taking hits on the block. Well, just because like you'll have you'll take no damage. I think that's the thing. If you don't bring someone who can block really well, you want to bring somebody who can either gain power outside of landing hits or is really good with just their special one. Because you lose block proficiency for each full bar you have, so if you instantly dump it into a special one, then you're great. Yeah. Uh, but like this, I think this lane is supposed to incentivize not necessarily saving for the special three. Uh, metric, the thing I was thinking of was that anti-venom anti -venom just regens on blocks. The other part that I was thinking was actually stupid because he gains more... Actually, I don't know if it would work that way. Because he has increased combat power rate when blocking special attacks. So it's possible that the excess, he still gains that, and then he also gains the burst of power from the node itself. I honestly don't know. But the idea would be that he might have access to more power than other champions, and it's easy for him to block. It's certainly better than the go in, get beat up strategy. Well, that's the thing, uh, Naz, is uh, whenever you go with one of those strategies, the go in and beat stuff up or the go in and beat get beat up strategy, it can easily flip to the other. It's it's just, it's really a 50-50 toss up there, but it's fun. Uh, Dila, the other part of seeing about was just, I know, I heard that too, Mr. Fernandez. Like so many, so many gems in this one stream alone. Um, <laughs> That's just, I guess, where I am this week. <laughs> Abyss tore down the 
my filters by crushing my soul. <laughs> it, uh, you know what? Yeah, it will. I, Jeez Louise. I hate that I'm now going to be, uh, wait, how do I I'm get actually power really excited for Chavez here. I know, and I'm not going to do her justice because I'm, I can tell I'm starting to get to the delirious part. Okay. That's how you gain power. You block the special. Right. And then now you can use her special one to gain more. Yep. Although that wasn't what I thought it would be. That's still not bad. Oh, but yeah, shouldn't it have been power shield? Oh, it's because his armor's really big. Gotcha. But she's supposed to hit harder when they have more buffs. Okay, that was all right. Yeah, maybe you just really need to make sure that you always have a bunch of the Utopian parallels to reduce the potency of his armor ups. Yeah. Uh, which color is Utopian? Do you do you remember? Uh, orange, I believe. And I shouldn't. Well, I know it's orange. I think that's the one yeah. we want. Man, I did the. Yes, I did the orange. Is the one you want? Twenty-five thousand. Okay, that was beefy. That was that was a nice SP too. And then, oh yeah, I looked down and a lot of his health is gone. <laughs> yeah, it was it was it was actually a really nice SP too. That's awesome. I I love seeing a good good uh, Chavez fights. Oh, I thought we would be unblock. Okay, good, we are. I'm like, wait, we're supposed to be unblockable. Oh, yeah, it only shows up for the beams. That is a bit terrifying. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see if we can get a nice heal here. Yeah, that's not bad. 9%. Yeah, so she does a bunch of damage, punishes him for having buffs gains power outside of the node and can heal. Yeah, that's not a bad option. Kind of long though, right? Maybe I could have played that better uh, to, to speed it up. But that felt, that felt, I mean, that was fun. It's fun to actually use her in something. Full well, tier 6B and uh, frags. But uh, they posted this. Yeah, you know, we just took a look at it, Freeze, uh, a little while ago. It looks like a really nice offer. If you're free to play or you can grind out those units, I, I'd recommend uh, holding off on uh, accessing that offer until you've got all those units. <laughs> Nass. Interchangeability. Is that a word? Interchangeability? Either it should be a word if it's not. That's really good. Uh, between those two shares, what makes you so incredibly versatile, if nothing else? Yes, thank you. I, I, it's always nice when you're appreciated. Um, most people aren't, you know, and thank you. I, I, uh, I appreciate you saying that. It's Lay just said in chat, uh, time to start doing arena streams. Yeah, I, I foresee a lot more arena streams in my future. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of arena, uh, streams, right, for everyone. I think they're probably... <laughs> I can't believe Guardian actually just power drained me. <laughs> He's got to uh, end a combo on a light attack to do that. What a jerk. Ugh, I forgot about his stupid auto block. Oh, yeah. I wasn't thinking about that at all.
Um, do I just quit out this fight? Uh, no, use your special one. Um, that gives like what true sense or something like that, right? Mm hmm. What's up? Uh, Metric area MCOC. How you doing? Thanks for being here. Wanted to make sure I read that correctly. I read it during the SP3 animation. <laughs> oh, <fine. laughs> there we go. Great call. Yeah, there's the Herc we know. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's what happens when you get hesitant and you're not sure if you want to throw the SP2 or the SP1. I was trying to look and see how much time was left on that true accuracy. Yeah. Right, here we go. Come get it, Guardian. <laughs> Love playing Herc. I love playing Herc. Oh, he's so much fun. He really is. Hmm. Just when I'm starting to think that I was going to pass him up as my uh, rank four option, he goes into something like that. All right. Uh, I think we're going to use Sorcerer. Let's have some fun. With Although, let's do Dragon Man. <clears throat> um, because he goes unblockable when he knocks down. Uh, with Cap, he could break the annoying armor. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And it's funny, it's like, th that's just where my mind went. Uh, but I was glad DL was here on call to remind me. Because I was like, no, I know he can do this. Like, what, what am I missing? And Nova does not want to throw a special. So there we go, Nova. Nicely done. And says Mojo plus extra block proficiency is awesome. Where's he getting extra block proficiency? Oh, from this node? Yeah. So that's a little tricky there that Nova is actually going to go unblockable on us there. Oh, yeah. The thing I love about Vegas Stream most is the smart comments you're doing gameplay from him and Collins. I learned so much from it. Thank you so much for saying that. And yeah, the, the guys on call are absurdly smart. Uh, I've been really fortunate to get to know a lot of smart players over the years. Thanks. And thanks, McTavish. Oh, and supercharged DGENs from Power Shield. Spins having the time of his life over there. <laughs> Natural power gain without opponent specials and supercharged DJs. Yeah, that makes sense. I thought Dragon Man would be a little more fun than he is right now on this. I don't think I'm playing it super well. Some interactions I didn't really foresee. Oh, hey, Mike. I was just uh, responding to you. Yeah, it's it definitely looks manageable with a large roster um, and like the skill set that they're aiming this at. There are absolutely challenges. There's some controversy surrounding the final offer, and I definitely do understand that. What's the controversy? The fact that there is no way to go and get the three to four gem um, without being forced to choose within 24 hours whether you get the offer or not. So if you're trying to be optimal and get the offer for your third, fourth, second, rank four, whatever, then you are highly incentivized to wait and not get the three to four gem at all, not finish the content and go grind arena for a while. 
Wait, one more time? You start at the beginning so, of that? Yeah, so if you are if you are not the kind of player that just buys unit packs when you need units. Yeah. Um, and you do not currently have ten thousand units, then There is a bit of a drawback to the way this is structured because you can't 100% it for the three to four um, gem crystal uh, now. Yeah. And then come back later and get the offer. So, like, the fact that the offer's so good is actually going to, like, it means that when I get 10,000 units, I'm going to get two rank fours very quickly. But until then, I will actually be behind people who just blitz through 7.4 whether they get the offer or not because I'm not going to finish it. I'm not going to get those rewards. I'm going to probably 100% the first five chapter or the first five quests not do the sixth one at all and then um, come back in like a couple months and just do the Kang quest. The con the 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 irritation there is that I'm not understanding, and I'm not, and I'm not trying the, to be obtuse here. Yeah. I'm not. I think I'm also. The irritation is that, like, in that interim, your account isn't. You feel like your account isn't progressing, and so, like, maybe now there's pressure for. Or, um, it's not just, okay, if you want to be in this alliance, if you want to contribute meaningfully to our prestige, to our defense, to our offense, yeah. if you want to be in this group and contribute, you have to finish all content. It's not that. It's if you want to be in this group and contribute, you have to finish all content and have 10,000 units when you finish 7-4. And that is an extra burden. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like as I'm trying to understand it to me, that sounds like classic. Um, and I'm not I'm not saying this isn't like this isn't anti cabam This is just like this is the, the monetization of a game like this is it's designed to get you to hurry up. Right. It's like that's right. that's the design. Um, and you can get around it by waiting. But there is a cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like everything else. Like, it, yeah, that I mean, that sounds as I'm trying to understand the situation of, of, of what you're explaining. Um, that's what it, exactly what it sounds like to me. Like, hurry up and wait, you know? Right. Because, like, in a couple months, if there's somebody else in my alliance who is, like, in exactly the same spot on Catalysts that I am, then in a couple months, we are probably going to be in the same place because I will have gone through this, gotten the offer, and will be there, but if they go through right now and either already have 10,000 units or spend $300 to get 10,000 units, then for those two months, until we're at the same place, they're probably ahead of me on prestige by like, I don't know, 800, 1,000 points, somewhere along those lines. Yeah. They have an extra rank 4 for defense, they have an extra rank 4 for offense, and like do I feel like I'm holding the alliance back in AQ in war? It, yeah, yeah. There are yeah. some complications. That's the completion offer, Mike. If it was an offer that only showed up on um, exploration, then that actually that might make it a little bit easier. But you'd still have the same basic conflict because it'd be connected to the three forge. Oh. It's not like once you finish this content, um, the offer just goes and sits <laughs> in the unit store for you to get later. Probably not there, but don't come on, I'm like, don't come in. Yeah. <laughs> So that, that's what happens when both you and your wife work from home. Um, what's up, Mike? Sorry if I didn't say hello already. How are you doing, man? Um, 
Uh, did I interrupt the conversation here, guys? What are we talking about? Not really. I just said that it's like it's not like these offers then go to the store for you to just be able to pick up later when you grind out the units. Yeah. Um, metric, the, the bottom cutoff, we're expecting another one and a half T6B on the left. On For the options two and three, I think it probably is just revives and probably some gold. I do agree, PPG. Like, I don't think it's going to be an issue in stable alliances. Um, like, you know, I don't think that my alliance is going to kick me while they wait for me to grind 10k units. If they do, I know a spot where you might be able to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and like, yeah. we're probably not going to kick anybody else for that, but like, it's, yeah, it feels bad. That, that's actually uh, where my joke was headed, is I think, like in PPG, P PPG's in my, you know, my BG and 4 Loki, like, I think it's the luxury of being in an alliance like that, you know, that... yeah has kind of like a longer term perspective on things and really prioritizes uh, personality and like uh, not commitment to the team. That's not the right term, but like isn't going to kick someone over something short term like that, you know? Yeah. Uh, is there a way to do this quicker with Odin? I My wife was knocking at the door for quite a while and then now I'm trying to have this conversation and and I'm not um, sure. Special twos, probably. Yeah, that's what I was going to try to do, but he pushed me all the way to my special three. If I can get a special two off soon, I'll I'll stick with this. If not, we'll just cancel out and go to her. Oh, and Mike, to kind of your question, uh, this has been going really well. I've been having a blast. I'm also not using, like, I I'm having fun doing things like using Dragon Man. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, so far, so good. Yeah, exactly, Mike. Don't finish until you have 10,000 units or are willing to get them or are willing to basically flush the offer down the toilet. Which I really don't recommend you do. Flush. No, it is very good. Yeah, I, I think it's really good for, for players right now. Dude, come on. I want to throw a special two. All right, we're gonna let poor old man Odin. We're gonna let him die. Um, got you. Was confused because it was a special battle, and then again, us players and gold audiences, we're not in the prestige race. Yeah, I mean that's the beauty of not being part of that prestige thing, right? I mean we have to take into account. Uh, Diela, what do you guys uh, AQ wise? If you're comfortable saying where you guys rank? Yeah, we're. I think we're like 32, 33. Yeah, so you guys are way up there. Um, I think we're in yeah, the like top we're, 20. we're fairly comfortable in the top 45. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, when you're there, like, I, for me, the way we're trying to play the game, that's such a sweet spot. That top five is just, guys, I mean, I played that for a while, and it's fun when it's going well, but it's, it's, it's a really stressful way to play the game, for me, anyway. And it attracts all of the worst things about the game. And I, that's not a shot at anyone in those alliances yeah. right now. Yeah. I'm saying that historically, yeah, like the top five race has brought the metaphorical cockroaches out of the woodwork repeatedly. It's just when there's that much on the line, you see people do other things. Yeah. I think that's very accurate. Yeah, like I'm definitely going to be playing seven four, but I'm going to be focusing on the first four, uh, the first five quests, <laughs> and then I'm going to stop. I, as I continue to think this through, and this might be what I said earlier, I think I'm going to still stick with my original plan. Like, there's no reason for me to race for that offer because I can't really take advantage of it anyway. Like, I can't put those items to use. Right. I actually, I have seen the rest of the offer, and, like, there's also some, the bundle two and three also have some energy refills and revives. But, like, but who cares? Well, yeah, see, but for me, that would be great uh, to finish up the rest of 7.4.6. Right. And, and then Karina's. 
So like, I, I... oh, I meant like bundles two and three, which are the lopsided ones. Oh, got it, got it, got it. They might be in bundle one, but I, I haven't seen them there. <laughs> As usual, Clown is being a little bit less diplomatic. <laughs> about about what the AQ race? Yeah. Jeez, I feel like I'm missing something on this, or is this fight just designed to take forever? I think they are designed to be slow. Um, these are really large health pools. I think there's also supposed to be, like, this is not a shot, but I think there's supposed to be a bit of a skill cap in these where it's like, um, if you can parry specials, a lot of these specials are parryable. And that's going to um, help you keep damage lower. I didn't even think about that. I've just been trying to block them. Let's start. It's over. something I'm used to because of like Purgatory, uh, yeah. Guardian, and Blade in the old days. I just saw what time it is. I gotta hurry the heck up. I really want to try to get this boss down. Uh, Y'all show Plight and Diplomatic. I do my best. <laughs> I read the back. I read the rest. Mr. Clown, what are you saying? That was weird. Okay, so that uh, that right there was actually a dropped input. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I still love my refractor, though. I'll take it. That's two. That's two in a. A two hour, 20 minute stream. I will take that. I will take that. I will sign up for that for the rest of 2020 if I need to. All right. Uh, the natural power gain on Sorcerer is really nice right now. Probably should have parried and gotten to my uh, fury mode there. All right, dude. Let's see if we can get into it. Oh, you got to land the heavy, huh? <laughs> Uh, Metric says, sorry for the off-topic question, which free open source video editing software would you recommend for starters? So that is platform dependent. Um, if you're on a Mac, iMovie is very good. A lot of people use that. You're still using iMovie, right? Baby? Yeah, that's all, that's actually all I use. It, it yeah. does have limitations and I, uh, I'm not even sure it has limitations. I am still limited in it. Let's put it that way, but it's great. And then um, I believe Windows comes with a video editor that's a decent competitor to that. My alliance mate, um, Slaymon, I think, exclusively uses that for his videos. So in other words, like the big companies have you covered. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know what it is about null. I, I think I think it's because uh, I'm assuming it's because I can plan for it. I don't mind playing reverse controls against him. Like it doesn't bother me in the way that it does, uh, like when it just springs up in other fights. Mm -hmm. Like uh, what was it the Grandmaster or something like that? I really, guys, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get down uh, the next boss. I'm really sorry. Yeah, I know what you mean about Null. Like with the Grandmaster, um, the reason his reverse controls bothers me is because it always seems to show up right as he gets to a bar of power and he has that instant projectile. Yeah. And like that's what kills you. It's not the dashing, it's not the combos. You play this game long enough, like you can adapt to that. It's the, oops, I guessed wrong on whether he was going to throw his special one immediately before or immediately after reverse controls kicks in. Absolutely. 
Like, seriously, if that timer was five seconds off in either direction, I don't think anybody would complain about it. Well, that's not true. People would complain about it a lot less. <laughs> I, I, just, I can't believe I even said that. <laughs> I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant, though. Oh, and I'm sitting here evading his SP1s. What am I doing? Wait, why didn't I get power from that? I don't know. Because that wasn't tied to superiority, was it? No. No. Oh, Stuke. Oh. Infuriate might turn it off. Yeah, you're right. Yep. Uh, ability accuracy strikes again. You know, guys, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to get this down. I got to go pick up my kid at school. Um, I'll try to... Uh, I'm sure someone will defeat that third boss and we'll get that out. Uh, but we saw the other two and we saw the women's... Um, this, the women's uh, day yeah. event or the women's month event. So we got that down. Thank you, everyone. I can for prioritize Darkhawk later. Yeah, I, I'm, first. I might even do like a video. I'm not, I don't know if I'll have time to or something like that, but I can tell I got to go and I'm starting to really rush. And so, uh, DL, thank you so much for being on call, dude, for so long. I really appreciate you dropping yeah. all this knowledge for everyone hanging out with me. Um, everyone, me. thank you for being in the chat. I had so much fun with you all being here. And um, yeah, I mean, this was a big, this was a good day. Uh, I think we got a lot of good news on rank ups and exciting stuff. So, Thank you so much for everyone for watching. I'm sure a variety of people are streaming right now, so we're actually not going to stream right because I probably like all of them. And so choosing between them would be impossible. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I'm going to try to stream a lot the next probably week uh, and get this done. And uh, hopefully we catch you all then. So thank you so much, everybody. Dale, anything you want to add? Yeah, take care, everybody. All right, take guys.